hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Boy to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And right now, Andre is laying on the table on his back. And I'm holding his little feet, on his little um, hands. And I'm just stroking his chin. And the reason why he's just laying there, I think, is because I never let him on the table. So he's enjoying, kind of in his in his mind, he's being naughty, I think. And he's getting, <laughs> he's getting away with it because he's not allowed on the table so he's just laying down and he seems to be enjoying it he's just flat flat on his back oh, he's got his little tongue sticking out so he's ha- very happy and I'm just massaging his feet. Or well, is is there his hands? I'm massaging his hands. And he's got his tongue out again. He's just he's just laying there. He likes this. I don't norm well, I don't ever do it on the table like this. Perhaps I should. A little bit more often. He just literally just jumped onto the table as I was getting ready to start the recording. Because he's in that mood where any time I move, he jumps out of his bag because he wants to go for a walk. But I'm not going out at... It's nearly 1.30 and I'm not going out that time in the morning because there's no street lights on. I never go out at this time in the morning. No. But he does want to go for a walk. But he has, yeah, he has been out. He went out earlier, didn't you, mate? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And if you can hear him go. See, this would make a good video. And now he wants to get off. You want to get off, dear? Give daddy kisses. There you go. Go and play. Right. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I think I've got the window open. Well, I'm recording this in my living room because I'm going to be reading out of a magazine. And I can't do that in my garden shed that's in my bedroom or my recording studio because there's no light in there. So, I'm going to read. Oh man, this takes me back. It really takes me back. And I don't think I've bought this paper or magazine. I'm not quite sure what you, when you call it. Since the 90s. Like early 90s, 92, 93. And it's the National Enquirer. And it's been a long time since I bought this. It's also a lot more expensive now. It cost me one pound fifty nine. 
It used to be about 40 pence or something. So I thought I'd uh, add this to my collection of Let Me Bore You to Sleep books and magazines to uh, dip into. So... <sighs> If you'd like to contribute towards the cost of the garden shed, <laughs> uh, I welcome any help. My PayPal is Jason. What is it? It's PayPal.me uh, forward slash Jason Newland. The links on my website. I'm going to be paying that. How much did it cost? Two hundred and twenty-nine pound for the actual shed plus the expenses of getting it put up and stuff. So it's going to take me quite a while to pay that off. So I've got a... Ooh. Jessica Simpson. So she's... I'm going to be going to... I'm going to read, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it'll be take too long, but. Um, what else? <laughs> I cooked myself some food today. That's it, really. I was trying to think what else happened today. I did make my first deep sleep whisper hypnosis session in the shed. Eventually, I've, I've got my friend who's helping me, and I'm, I can't do anything until uh, next Wednesday when I get some my next money. But I'm going to start to soundproof it because the way the shed is layered, my soundproof foam doesn't stick. Even with glue, it just falls off. So I'm gonna need to get like a flat surface put in, which is, I'm gonna do. And also I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna, just over the next few months or whatever, I'm gonna throw every bit of soundproofing that I can afford to get in there. You know, I think you can get soundproofing foam and um, I wanna make it so, but I also need to get lights in there so I'm thinking, 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 always thinking, well, really think of maybe getting, I need to get lights in there, but I'm thinking of doing some videos, which means setting the studio up so that I can make videos for YouTube. And possibly, this is just an idea and I don't know even if I want to do it but possibly make all of my recordings, videos and audios, so I record them separate. I record it audio and I record a video at the same time. Um, that makes sense. So I'll record the audio separately on one thing and then I'll record the video on the video recorder uh, but I need really good lighting inside that shed, really bright lighting, in order to make it look good, or you know, to be a decent picture. But the downside, or the thing that I always had a little bit of an issue with this over the years, is what to wear. Because if, if I made a recording every day, and I've done this in the past, you start getting to see my, clothes, my collection of clothes. So I don't have much to wear. And none of them really are camera worthy, if that makes sense. I kind of, I think if I'm gonna be on camera, really I should be um, dressed well. I never put a lot of effort into that side of things. Um, but then there's the other side of things is I look at the videos that I did in two, you know, what was it? Well, even 2010, 
2008-2009 I just look younger and I should because I'm you know it's, it's a decade ago but it's just oh because I remember what, 2009 oh man just yeah it's weird just there's a video that it's right at the place I used to live and in front of uh, these two doors in my section of the house I just had a room but it was I think it was like an extension that they'd built on so I I had one room and there was a room opposite me and then there was a bathroom there was also like a living area that I never used to use and there was this these two doors that led to outside but they rattled the doors rattled but it was very bright the room was very bright so I tried to get out there when there was no one else around I'd make a video so I, I could literally I could look the reason I'm doing this and thinking about this is because I've been going through uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos that are on my YouTube channel from the past but isn't everything from the past yeah I know and I've been embedding them into my website so it's just kind of updating the website and it just gives you an opportunity to not just listen to me but you can see my funny face as well if you want but looking back I can any video that I've got I can tell you exactly where I was I can't, couldn't tell you the day or the date or even what I was talking about half the time but I can tell you the room because of the background behind me so I've got the different rooms that I've used different places I've used in videos the first one was when I lived in the Buddhist community and it's, it's a fairly good sized room actually it was all wood like the floor was all wood and was, I had it was a nice little setup actually. It was, uh, I got quite a few bookcases, and that's that's when I had my biggest book collection. It's now quite small, but it used to be really quite big. I had lots and lots of hypnosis books, and and courses, DVDs, CDs. I had lots of stuff there. And I started making my video, my first videos in that room, because I lived there from March 2005, I think, to when I started university, which would have been, uh, well, it's, it's November 2007. Because I lived there when I first started the course, and then I moved closer to where I was studying. So that room, the old videos, and the old videos aren't even on my YouTube channel; they're on a, a different channel altogether. Um, because they're very old, and they're in black and white. Because I just. I had a I had a webcam I think it was a Logitech webcam I think everybody had a Logitech webcam back then and it it was okay the sound wasn't perfect the picture wasn't perfect but it was okay and 
I think it was quite a, a fairly bright room with the lights on, I think. Anyway, I filmed myself and behind the desk that I had, there was bookcases full of hypnosis books and psychology books and stuff like that. And in front of me, there was a, like a sponge, you know, the kind of sponge that you use to wash a car with, that kind of, you know, those big sponges. It was a sponge that I taped my website to, so I'd written on my website, www.jasonnewlands.com. And I taped it like with some sellotape to this sponge, and I placed the sponge in front of me so you could see the website. <laughs> and I don't think people realised that it was that it was a sponge or that it was that until I started picking it up and playing around with it. But I just look. I mean, admittedly, that is 12, th nearly 13 years ago or whatever, those, those vi that video, those videos, the black and white ones, maybe longer, 14 years, I don't know, but so I'm, I, I'm supposed to look younger then, aren't I? It's just natural, you know, it's... It's, you know, it's just... It's no more unnatural than going to the toilet, is it? It's just aging process. It's, it's supposed to happen. But it's a bit weird. Just it's weird when you st I don't know seeing myself. It's almost unreal in a way. And so I've got the background there for where I lived. At the same time, I was doing podcasts. And the podcasting was a lot easier. And I think the podcasting was first. So I was doing podcasts before the videos. Before it, I was doing podcasts before I'd even heard of YouTube, I think. Because I think I heard of YouTube in 2007. But I was already doing podcasts in 2006. And then, uh, then I moved. So I remember, I wonder if I made any videos anywhere else in the house. I don't remember if I did or not before I moved. No, I, when I moved, The new place I lived in is a tiny, tiny little room. And I think that's why I didn't realize I had an eyesight issue. Because I was never more than about three inches away from the television. Because I was lived in little rooms, tiny little rooms. So it's not really until I moved here where the television is the other side of the room that I realised that my eyesight was not quite as uh, tip top as it once was and then I started wearing glasses all the time although I might have worn glasses all the time before I moved here I don't know if you can hear Andre's in the kitchen doing his thing. By his thing, I mean um, he's doing what uh, he's doing stuff. You wouldn't want to see a video of it, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, I'll probably get kicked off YouTube or Facebook. It's 
so I got videos of me I could just about fit a video camera into that room <laughs> and behind me when I was in that room they had this big Buddha on the it was a big metal Buddha it was gold well, it wasn't gold but it was that colour and it was behind me in quite a few videos because I was sitting on the bed I think yeah and I'd have the camera balanced on some books or something on a desk yeah I think that's what I probably did so I made quite a few videos there because I was living there for what's well, some November 2007 to um, the beginning of the year probably January yeah January time 2011 Eight, nine, ten. So yeah, three years, just over three years, and so I'd make videos in the room. Sometimes I'd make videos in that bit, that bit, as I said before, near the squeaky, the squeaky double doors that opened. Now, when my landlord was away on holiday, and if there's no one else around. I sometimes make videos sitting at their in their kitchen at the table because it's very very light a lot of light there so that was quite nice and it was just nice to sit in a different place really so I'd go in there and I'd perhaps get a laptop and I'd do stuff um, but I never went into their living room I just stayed in the kitchen it was just nice to just to spread out a bit, you know, not to sort of be stuck in a little room. So I did some videos there. See, I've got this memory of when I made the stop smoking course, the 28 day stop smoking course. I actually purchased a podcast kit to do that. And I think it was, I don't know, 180 pound or 200 pound or something. So I got that from Amazon. So with that, there was a, a microphone. There was, a, I don't know what you call it, like a digital thing that you could turn up and, I don't know, whatever came with it. And now, even though I do this stuff, it's... The technical side of it, the electrical side of it, is not necessarily my forte. And uh, I, I always remember that because I made that recording whilst my landlord was away on holiday and luckily there was no one else there so I took advantage of there being no one around so what I did is I went into the the just outside of my bedroom there was a big table that I was that I could sit at if I wanted to but although I didn't really feel comfortable doing it, but and that was near the double squeaky doors. So I sat up there and I decided that I was going to spend the next, I think, 10 days building this 28 day stop smoking course. And I'd never prepared anything before, I'd never put that much work in anything before or since really for a recording 
So what I did, I had, I kind of prepared what I was going to say. I recorded everything, but I did it like sentence by sentence, going back and editing, going back and editing, trying to make it as perfect sound-wise as possible. And I'd probably do an hour on, or an hour on, an hour off, or out two hours on, and then I'd have a break. And I had the, um, I was also making videos as well, so I'd make, I probably made a couple of videos a day as well to put onto YouTube. But I brought my television into the kitchen, and I sat at the kitchen table, and I was watching Prison Break. Um, box set and I, pre I pretty much watched the entire box set during that 10 days like the whole season with all of the episodes apart from the last episode the last season which they they brought another season out a few years later but I never watched that and I was there all day for 10 days I'm talking as soon as I got up till I went to bed I didn't I think I even left the left the house or all I don't think for 10 days and I ended up with four recordings and a few years later I consolidated them to make one long recording as well just so that people could just listen to one I just can't believe the amount of effort I put into it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that was more effort than actually... Because I did some professional recordings as well. Um, at a recording studio. So I spent uh, money, £500, at a recording studio making three different recordings a relaxation recording a chronic pain recording and a sleep recording uh, and had them on CDs and then I paid uh, I got like professional covers uh, printed and this is back in 2000 and uh, 2009 I'd say yeah about 2009 and even that was easier than than the 10 days that I spent doing the other you know doing this uh, 28 day stop smoking But I kind of got fond memories because I suppose because I was watching TV as well and I had a bit of peace and quiet because there was no one there didn't have to see anybody for 10 days it was glorious absolutely beautiful and I hear my laptops I'll put my laptop down with the lid off. Like the, it's not the lid, I haven't took the lid off of it. But I'll put it down and now it's making lots of noise. You can probably hear it in the background. It winds me up. Um, thing is, the laptop always wants to do updates. It doesn't give me an, op an option. It says either do it now or do it later. And if I say later, it just choose a random time and just starts the update. So then I have to sign in all over again. Just as I speak that I can hear the birds in the cavities of the wall. So literally, on the right hand side, 
the birds live there kind of they they get in near the guttering and I just hear them there's I don't know how many birds there are but there's a few and they're just it's quite weird because if you go outside at this time of night you don't hear no birds in the trees really but this lot they're yapping away perhaps they're watching telly I don't know perhaps I've disturbed them by me talking they're thinking I wish he'd shut up we're trying to sleep then one of them says well why don't you go and listen to Jason uh, that let me boy to sleep podcast that'll help you and they put it on and they thought wait a minute he sounds familiar <laughs> it's that bloke God, he is boring. Oh, I do feel sleepy. So the person that's been keeping us awake is now sending us to sleep. That's a very strange situation indeed. So what other places? I moved out of there. And I went to... Do what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this laptop because it's annoying me. I'll move it onto the chair. That's a little bit out of the way. Not quite as noisy now. Um, I moved to a new place and there's this room. Quite a big room, probably, probably, yeah, it's bigger than this room. It's like a double room, but had a double bed in it. But yeah, it's bigger than this, I'd say. Uh, and maybe not. Probably not, not as wide, but longer. Just thinking about it. Maybe not as wide, but longer. Although there's nothing, nothing wrong with width. I think length is highly overrated. So I, I used to make recordings there. I made lots of recordings, videos. I did a lot of vlogs for YouTube back then. And... That was when I did my first purposeful ASMR recording. Now, I'd already done recordings, what I'd done whispering, and but part of uh, sleep sessions and relaxation sessions and soft, softly spoken. I mean, I think you could say that probably most of my recordings are softly spoken I don't find shouty shouty stuff helps people to relax doesn't me and uh, I might do one one day I do a a relaxation session for someone that's like a really chaotic person that's so used to being around like lots of shouty people and lots of people you know maybe has like 10 kids to be fair I suppose if you're around if you've got 10 if you've got 10 kids you live in a house with 10 kids and a husband or a wife and probably a couple of dogs possibly as well and a guinea pig then having someone like me shouting to you to relax might actually work because it would be quite soothing compared to the amount of noise that you'd have to put up with with all that uh, traffic yeah, I might do that like a shouty relaxation session 
to shout, Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I remember there was a, I can't remember what it's called. I don't think it's called Death of a Salesman, but it might have been. But it had Timothy Small on there. Was it Timothy Small? Uh, but it was, um, it's quite funny because he's a salesman and he's listening to a self-help uh, motivational tape in his car. It might be a DVD, I don't know, but it was. this is quite a way back. And he was listening to it. And I think he, he did it himself. But all, instead of uh, being like Anthony Robbins or some smooth talker or Zig Ziglar. Check Zig Ziglar out, by the way, if you haven't. I love Zig Ziglar. And uh, Jim Rohn's a brilliant one as well. But anyway on the tapes he's driving along and um, and the tapes just shouting at him saying sell bloody sell sell I said sell bloody sell sell something sell sell now there was more words more naughty words than that but it got me crack I cracked me up it did because I used to work in sales and I used to listen to motivational stuff and just the idea of listening to someone shouting at me sell bloody sell it just found it hilarious <laughs> and, uh, but yeah anyway I don't know why I'm mentioning that what's next so I did quite a few in that room what I did do which I've, I've not done in any previous places because it, I had an ensuite bathroom in that place it cost me £125 a week not, not just for the bathroom that would be an expensive poo wouldn't it but for the um, for the bedroom and the bathroom, so for an ensuite room, hundred and twenty five pound a week. I pay eighty two pound a week for this one bedroom flat. Which has a kitchen and Yeah, pretty kind of a bathroom, probably equal size bathroom, if not a bit bigger. It's like, uh. Now, I did like the bathroom in there. Actually, the bathroom probably was bigger than the one I've got now. But it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because there was a shower, no bath. Now, baths take up quite a bit of room. Because if you take the bath out, you'll see there's quite a big space there. And you put the shower in, and the room will look bigger. Unless, I suppose, the shower is the same size as the bath. Or if it's bigger than the bath, then the room won't look bigger at all. It might even look smaller. But anyway, this bathroom, it was all nice. The room was lovely. I can't fault the room. It's, it was a really nice room. It was, so it's, it's fairly big. As big as this living room, if not... Yeah, it's probably longer, but not as wide. But it's, it's hard to remember, because our memories aren't... Yeah, my memory's not 100% correct. And uh, <sighs> I had a double bed there for a year, so that was brilliant. I loved that because most of my life I've had single beds. I forgot about that, yeah. I had a double bed for a year, um, and it had these 
me all the coaster things at the bottom and at the top. This is almost um, like a, a headstand for the bed. Is it a headstand? Yeah. Headstand. Why does that sound weird? But you know where your head goes. I don't mean on your neck. I mean, when you lay down on a bed, you know where the pillows are. I'm assuming that people sleep like I do. But I'm guessing you, you know, sleep laying down. So, you know... I don't, some people might be listening to this oh the, the pillows you mean they're super glued to the wall no no I don't I don't do that but the head post I think it's called a head post that was made of well it was like metal and it was I think it was copper well I don't know if it was actually copper but kind of copperish and it was that was alright actually so I remember grabbing hold of it once and I was stretching out and it was okay and then at the bottom there was also another one but it was a smaller version of the one at the top now that bed was a lot bigger than the bed I've got here as far as length goes again it was just it was longer no yeah it was longer yeah but not wide I think my bed might be probably the same width but that one is longer unless it was a king size um, but my toes never touched the bottom I don't think but they might have done that's the thing about not writing a journal isn't it because I used to write journals in the past if I'd have written a journal, I could have looked back and said, okay, so let's have a look what I was doing in October 2011. And I look in there and said, oh, toes are, toes are pressed against the bottom of the bed as I write this. The thing is, they wouldn't be because if I was writing, sitting up in bed, I'm five foot eight, my toes are never going to even a single small bed even a child's bed my, my toes would probably wouldn't reach the bottom because I'm not very tall I'm I'm tall enough to get away with being an adult it's 5'8 isn't like short short but it's not It's quite weird though because a friend yesterday said to me that he's five foot nine and to me he looks a heck of a lot taller than me. I thought he was at least five ten. And he said he's five nine, so that didn't make sense. Because he's taller, he's he's you can see it. Does that make sense? I'm, I don't mean you know, yeah, we don't understand how visuals work. I don't, don't if he was standing next to me, he looks physically, obviously taller. It's not that I look short, just he looks taller. Although, depending on, I suppose, depending on your perspective, you could be thinking, he looks short and I just look really short. If you were like nine foot. Andre... Blimey, sorry about that, Andres. <sighs> yeah, Andres, um, I wonder if that window's open. But he really. So the bed, I quite like the bed. I have 
actually, because I know I did, I do, I think I paint a picture of, like I've never ever slept in a double bed ever, but that's not true. I do talk about sometimes, oh, I've only slept in single beds. Feel sorry for me. I don't really mean it in that way. It's just, because I'm, I'm not a giant, obviously, but I kind of, I spread, I spread myself. So when I'm on a bed, I spread. And recently I shared the bed with somebody. I really felt the restriction of not being able to spread out. So I think if I ever, if I ever was to, I want to use words live together with someone, but I don't think that's, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but if I did, I'd need to perhaps have a bed made or just try and get the biggest, widest bed. Don't need it to be long, just need it to be wide. Mind you, I could always... No, it's, no. I was going to say if I slept, basically the, the length of the bed, I need to be the width of the bed and the length. So I need a square bed so that the length is also the width. Oh, that'd be beautiful. But that would, that would be if I was living with someone. And apparently I snore like a cat purring. But I was probably just feeling like the old saying isn't the cat that got the cream. I was probably in a good mood, probably. But I don't know. I need a big bed. That's what I need. Big, 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 big bed. I want to travel to Canada. I want to travel to Australia. Wish there was a way of getting to Canada and Australia and America without flying. And that would be good. I'd like to do that. I had dreams about living in Canada. It's weird, I had them for years. Where I can't live in somewhere and there's a lot of snow. And it's just very beautiful, like visually beautiful. Um, I suppose, didn't have to worry, did I have to use the word visually? I suppose because it can something can smell beautiful, can't it? I suppose, like cakes. Cakes smell beautiful, don't they? So not all cakes, obviously, That's because we all have our own preference, don't we? Like uh, a poo cake that wouldn't smell nice, but <laughs> why, why would someone make a poo cake? The, <clears throat> the, something can taste beautiful, can't it? Although I, I rarely eat anything that tastes nice. I, can't, I have quite a bland diet. You know, it's because it, I cook for myself. And it's, I don't cook, cook. You know, like from scratch. Oh, that doesn't. Does that make sense? Oh, I just eat raw food. But I, I had a curry. On, um, I think it was Friday night or Saturday night, with my with my friend. And my, with my neighbour and. 
I don't know if it was that I hadn't eaten a cooked meal for possibly a couple of weeks. Or it just really tasted nice. But it really, really tasted nice. I got it from the Indian takeaway. Well, it's a restaurant as well. But it really, really tasted nice. And because they're so generous, a bit like the Chinese takeaway as well, I just give way more than I can eat. We got, um, I, I bought it, we got um, a curry and some um, rice. Is it pili? Pili rice? Pil? Pil rice? Piloi, piloi, rice, and uh, I got one naan bread for us to share. It was perfect for me, just the perfect amount. Because I gave him half a half a naan bread, and I just ate the rest of the food. <laughs> no, not really. I halved it. Now he can eat a lot. He could have eaten that whole curry probably two times over. So he can, and he's very slim, so I'm the opposite. I don't eat much, and I'm not slim, but I don't eat. I don't eat much at a serving. You know, each time I eat a meal, I don't eat much, but I do eat fourteen times a day. Again, I don't. It's weird for years and years and years when I was a kid I wanted to put weight on I used to go to the gym from the age of probably 14 I used to go to the gym trying to get my muscles and I did have muscles but they were just I was little I was really little and I was very late developing uh, just physically I wasn't I wasn't a man really until I probably physically didn't look I don't know if I still even look like a man now but I didn't really physically look like a man probably until I was in my 20s I could have passed for being a teenager probably well into like probably 24 25 if it hadn't been for the the shaving because I, cause I used to grow a beard so that I looked older so that I could buy alcohol and cigarettes and go into pubs and clubs and stuff so I did look older with that um, but I didn't look 18 till I was probably 20 24 possibly and by then I was I was bigger than I had been and I had a lot of physical jobs so I was strong but very slim. I was so self-conscious about how slim I was. Now it's top. It's flipped on its head. It's the opposite. I didn't like going swimming because get this, isn't this weird? I didn't want to go swimming because I was. I felt I was too slim. Yeah, what I was in reality was slim with muscles, and I don't know if I had a six-pack, but I was slim you know it's all muscle didn't have an inch of fat on me at all and you know an inch is quite a quite a lot isn't it didn't even have an inch of fat I don't care what anyone says I stick to that an inch is a lot not an inch of fat on me nothing I was just I wasn't bones I wasn't I was strong but I wasn't not strong I was strong enough to to do the jobs I was doing so at times I was unloading lorries full of heavy boxes and lift I was I was keeping up with what everyone else did or well, in fact I was probably doing more so it wasn't that I was a strong man because I wasn't I was never never entered the Olympics for weightlifting I was embarrassed 
And it's really weird because technically I had a good body. Technically. And I see people walking around in the summer with bodies just like mine. And they, not now, like it used to be. But in some, in some cases I was probably a little bit more muscular than them. And some of them, but they'll walk around and they're very comfortable. And I don't know why I never was. The last time, I think what it is, because my dad was so big and strong. My dad was, I'm kind of, I look more like my dad now than I did then. A sort of broadness or thickness or whatever. Um, but when I was a kid, when I was very young, I was very, very slim. But I'd, the last time I walked around with my top off would have been when I was a kid, like little kid, with my two brothers, would be on, like going to the beach and chasing each other with buckets of water and stuff like that because I had two older brothers one was well, I have two older brothers one's two years older one's four years older and we used to have a lot of fun doing stuff like that and I just used to follow them around really because I was only little so I'd be nine or ten so probably at ten I was still running around with my top off and then when I got to prop 11, the children, the other children around me, were developing into men and women, or both, I don't know. And that's when I kind of, I was still a child. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it was, oh man. Sometimes I love Andre. And I look at him and he's asleep. And it's the cutest little thing in the world. And then I make a recording. And he literally does everything he can. To make as much sound as he can. Actually, I woke him up earlier. I took him... He was in his bed, he's in his his bag, which he spends a lot of time sleeping in. And it's actually falling apart. I need to buy him a new a new bag. And the zip's broken on it. But it, it works sometimes. And I Yeah, I picked. I took him for a walk. So I needed to go to the garage because uh, one of my neighbours was using my bath. He he needed to, his uh, heating broke, or the the boiler broke, and so I offered him to to use my bath to have a bath and stuff. So he was coming at four, so I needed to go to the garage before four o'clock and get back. And I was knocking on his door at three o'clock, saying, because I said, we might, you could go in there now while I'm going off to the garage and he can have a bit of privacy, you know, because I had every intention of sitting on the toilet watching him otherwise. And uh, no, and he didn't answer the door. I was knocking, 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 didn't answer. I shouted through the letterbox, didn't answer. Come four o'clock, bang, 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 on the door. You know, it's like, never answers the door. So he had his bath. But before that, I went to the garage and I took Andre. And I was originally... Also, gonna, yeah. Did I take him for a walk? 
No, I did take him for a walk as well. He's been out twice. So originally I took him at three o'clock to the garage. It might have been 20 past three, quarter past three, even 11 minutes past three. I'm not a hundred percent, but it's around three-ish. It was after three o'clock, but definitely long before four o'clock because I had enough time to come home um, and have a little rest before it was bath time. <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? But uh, so I already had a bath earlier and uh, I took Andre out and he was so tired because he was asleep. I basically woke him up and he didn't want to walk. He walked a little bit rubbed himself on the grass a little bit and then he wanted me to carry him and he was climbing up here you want to lay down on the on the chair on the table again yeah good boy you're a beautiful little boy aren't you well I'm not no I don't find you annoying at all Andre no never Never, no. Annoying, no. Beautiful, yeah. You're my beautiful boy. He's he's just lying down on his back again. I'm just massaging his feet, or his toes, his hands. His very dirty hands. So I'm gonna have to give them a clean. So in the end, he basically climbed inside my top of my jacket and I ended up carrying him to the garage and then on the way back he climbed into the bag and didn't want to walk at all and he, f he fell fell asleep he went to sleep so I put him into the bag when I go into the garage because he's not allowed he's not allowed in the garage without the bag and um, when I got out of the garage he was asleep He'd just gone back to sleep and I said oi because if he's asleep it's harder to cross the road um, because it's a very very busy road where I live and trying to cross it people a lot of traffic they, they don't want to stop to let me across but when I'm holding this little boy uh, I've got more chance of the, the traffic stopping but if he's in his bag asleep, that doesn't help me. So I'm kind of trying to wake him up, playing a trumpet in his ear, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, Andre, I'm going to ask Andre a question. Why do you keep letting off big farts when I'm making recordings? Well, you know it's you, Dad. Why do you keep pretending it's me? Stop it. So it is him. Um... I'm not going to be able to do that when I'm in a recording studio, am I? So you won't be around. Mm -hmm. I have to edit it out. Hmm. You want to get down on the, on the ground? Do you want to go to bed? You want to go to bed, bed? Andre, do you want to go to bed, bed? Do you? Do you want to go to bed, bed? Do you want to go to bed, bed? Do you want to go bed, bed? Do you want to go bed, bed? He's looking at me, he's like, Dad, seriously, I'm not a kid anymore. You are, you're my kid. Oh no, he's just noticed a stack of books that I put on the bottom shelf of the bookcase. He hadn't noticed them before. I've been waiting for him to notice them because I figured he's going to knock them all off and he's i just seen him clock them he looked it won't be long before he climbs up on the stack and pushes the whole lot of the books onto the floor that's what he's going to do now he's seen it he's going to wait until I'm asleep then he's going to do it probably 
It's all about conspiracies, the conspiracies of the ferret. When I lived at other, other place, uh, you know, the wide, the, the, the long yet not very, not as wide, but a longer room, that had the ensuite bathroom, because the lighting in the bathroom was so great, brilliant lighting, I used to make recordings in there, but of course there was echoey, so I had the iPhone and I'd make a recording. Go to bed, Andre. He's at his dinner. I think he's gone into his. He's gone into his. Uh, his bag. No, he hasn't. The. Um, so I used to make recordings in the bathroom because the picture was. It was just so bright. That was weird. As I always remember those, and also when I visited my dad for Christmas, which I did sometimes, um, I I think I went for one particular Christmas where I made recordings in his bathroom or in the toilet. I also made recordings in the bedroom that I was staying in, sleeping in. I also made recordings in the living or the extension living room pit. So I've got some videos there. That was when I was doing a video every day, like a daily hypnosis thing. Then I moved out of there. Oh, while I was living there, I was using the Buddhist Center um, therapy room that I was using for counseling. I was self-employed so I was using that room at night to make videos and mp3s because uh, it was fairly quiet and I recorded my most popular video of all time my most popular video of all time the um, try and stay awake hypnosis challenge and it's got music and it it had well over a hundred thousand plays, I think that one did. Now it's it's got a couple of thousand, I think, three thousand on the the newer YouTube channel, but it had loads. Like when I stopped when I got rid of the channel, the last one, people contacted me wanting to listen to it. The ironic thing is never been popular as an audio. Isn't that weird? The podcast is at at listens, you know, people have downloaded it, but never never had the popularity of the YouTube video. And even now I get people contact me saying, I'm so glad that I've discovered rediscovered that video again because it's the only thing that helps me sleep. So yes. Yeah, doing he's trying to get through the front door I have to bring this to an end now it's gone over wow 69 minutes who'd have thought I'd be able to talk this long and not even get through to the last two places that I lived well the place before I lived here I moved to that place and there's a tiny little room another tiny one and I made recordings in there as well so I can always see the background and I know it was there but also every therapy room I used as a counsellor or as a therapist I used all of those rooms to make recordings to make videos so it's almost like a little chronological uh, map of places that I've lived and worked over that period of time, over like 11, 12 years. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. I didn't get around to talking about the National Enquirer, so I'll do that another day. So remember to be kind to yourself. Be 
because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.